obviously the fundamentals we're looking at. Most beginners look at color right away. They're like, okay, it was brown and streaky and it was over by that bush. It's like, well, I can think about maybe 15 birds that fit that description. So this beak, see how short and skinny that is right. and narrow? It's like a pair of tweezers on your face. This is like the largest tract of undisturbed wetland in California. Here? Here, yeah. right here in the Baylands. Oh, really? And wow. this is like regarded as some of the best bird watching in the West. When the females, which spend the majority of the time incubating the nest, they it's way easier to be cryptic looking so that predators aren't attracted to your nestlings rather than like a, a very flashy male which uses his plumage to attract a female, which indicates his health. So um, it's just so that they can continue reproducing without issues. What I'm trying to do is try to make birding more accessible, that we're having such a good time that you want to come out. And so I lure you through my photography to like come step outside of your comfort zone and like, you know, step into the mystery of life that may actually make you feel less anxious than like scrolling through your smartphone.